Um, ideally, we uh, set that as the norm. Um, we uh, just continue to score every time we touch the ball. And um, if we aren't scoring, then there's a fixable reason for why. And uh, we fix that and continue to, to do so. Um, we have to set that as the expectation and um, hold ourselves to that. Is that realistic, though? Absolutely. I mean, if it, it, it has to be. Um, if you want to be one of the better teams in the country, it has to be. Um, on defense, we have to um, expect to stop them every single time they touch the ball. And on offense, we have to expect to score every time we touch the ball. And um, you can't be happy with 70 80% success rates or anything um, that normal people would consider uh, um, good or whatnot. You have to set the bar unreasonably high and always strive for it. Why did you think of Bale's pass? Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was really good. It was, uh, he played quarterback back at uh, Sarah. We actually, I actually played him uh, when he was at uh, Sarah as a quarterback and I was at Boss. We played him in some seven on sevens, but uh, um, I think he's a little bit better of a tight end. <laughs> when, um, with this new offensive scheme, what are the biggest challenges that you had to face in order to learn it? And how have you become a better quarterback in general because of this game? Um, I've learned a lot of football uh, these last few months with Coach Fish. Uh, He's taught me a lot about the game. And uh, the biggest difference is, because not, you can't reinvent the game. I always, I've said it, I think, every time we've changed an offense. Power is power, counter is counter. counter um, protections are protections, routes are routes. And um, you can't change them. You're just going to make them look different. And uh, the biggest difference, I would say, is uh, the philosophy and how you play. Um, you set things up differently. Um, I would say the run game and pass game marry a lot better together, and everything is incorporated uh, with one another. And it's just a different way of thinking. Um, I can't really get too into it, but uh, it's it's pretty cool. I, I really enjoy the system I'm in. Hopefully, we can continue the success we had today. After you were out for half the season last year, what did you expect from yourself coming into this season? And do you believe you either met or exceeded those expectations after two games? Um, my expectation is to be perfect, and um, I know that will never that will never happen. But I always set myself to I think I have three incompletions today, and um, I expect to have a perfect game every time I step on the field. It's unreasonable, but that's I think that's the standard that you have to set for yourself. You have to um, strive for perfection and hope you you fall on greatness along the way, um, stumble upon greatness along the way. And uh, um, A and M, uh, there's a little bit of rust. I kind of just needed to shake off, just get used to getting hit again, and. Um, it was a new system, haven't played football in a while, and I think once we got rolling, um, that wasn't an anomaly, hopefully, or as we proved today, um, and hopefully we'll prove next week and continue to, that that's the expectation, and that is the standard that we're going to set as an offense. Last question. Theo uh, made some juke moves. He went up and got some balls. He's, he's kind of progression today. Yeah, I mean, our, our receivers are... Um, our receivers are making some incredible plays. I mean, even Felton, Demetri Felton came out and, um, and played really well. We, uh, I'm excited because I think uh, when your defense is looking at us, you have, to, uh, you have to account for every single one of our, our playmakers because anyone can explode at any given time. And um, when someone's really rolling, you just got to feed the beast. And uh, last game it was Caleb, and this game um, it was a little bit of Theo. Uh, DA was definitely rolling. So you just kind of, I think you're always going to have some steady guys that are always going to get their, their um, their catches, their carries, and their production. And then when you have five, six guys that can light up at any given time, it's really dangerous.